Hi everybody, Mark Cohn here, Team Vegas Bling. We have so many new consultants, so many people have so much new inventory, people have been asking, how do I put a display together? And since I've shown you before, I'm going to take a couple minutes and show you again what you need and how quickly and easily it is to do. And when you're finished, you're going to have a perfectly carryable, transportable display for your, all of your paparazzi inventory. So right now, let's see how to do this. First thing you do is go to the hardware store where you find two eight foot one by fours. These are approximately 350 to $4 a piece. That's what, so you'll spend about $8 on your wood. Then you go around the corner to the next aisle where they have the pegboard, get a two by four piece of pegboard, and then find the fellow who works at the hardware store. He's gonna cut it in half for you, so you'll have both of these. Both of these pieces as one will be about $4.50 as well. You'll need a little bit of additional hardware, a handle, a clasp, and you'll need a piano hinge that's approximately 12 inches long. This total of materials, including the package of screws that are 364 by a half inch or number sixes, would be less than $20 in total for all of your materials. So with that being said, let's get started. First thing to do is to take one of your two by two pieces of pegboard <coughs> and you take the two of the long, that's 24 inch pieces from the one by four. So you ask the gentleman at the hardware store to cut that one by four into four 24 inch pieces and four 22 and a half inch pieces. So the first thing you do is lay your pegboard down white side down so it ends up on the inside of the box on top of two of the long one by fours and put them out to the edge of your board just like so. Put an additional, when you line them all up to the end, here's a trick that at the end of this project is going to save you time and aggravation. Just put them about a fingernail width sticking out. You're going to need that space at the end, and you'll see why. Drill yourself some pilot holes along the bottom like so. And then tack it down on the long sides first like we showed you. Take a second. If you use your pilot holes like so, you never ever have to worry because that screw is going to go where you put it. Now, as soon as you're done with that, you once you do this side, and I like to put three screws on each long side, once you do that, duplicate your effort on this side. Exactly the same thing. Stick it out about a fingernail's width, make your pilot holes, and then tack it down with three, three screws on that side. Once you've done that, you're gonna have half of your box, and this is how you complete your box, and this is how you're gonna find that you have that extra fingernails worth of room. Take your box and put your last piece on the short sides, the 22 and a half inch sides. Put it on the inside of the box like this, and because you've left that extra space, you're gonna be able to adjust this at the side like this to make it work for you. The procedure is the same way. You put this down on its side, with the white in the same way you did the long sides, you do the short side. You set it down just like that. Line it up very simply. Make sure you've drilled your pilot holes in there. I, again, I still like to use three pilot holes on this side. Go right down the side after you've drilled your three pilot holes. Go ahead and make it up just like so and by the time you've got your three screws on each side and you've duplicated you do the exact same thing here that you did here one two three you have one half of your display and it's ready to go now the next thing you're going to do is you're going <clears> to <throat> you are going to learn how to put that hinge on and how to do it right so you never have any problems when you fold up your display so let's get to that. 
when you open your piano hinge up and you take it out, I've made this so we can take a good close look at it. If you look at your piano hinge, you're going to see a notch on one side right there. That notch is a guide for you to use when you're putting this on. So what you do is take the notch and put the notch at the end of your board. And at the other end of your hinge, the last hinge, well, that notch is the same measurement. You line it up just like that all the way down the side, your notch to the notch on the last hinge. Again, make your marks, drill your pilot holes, and affix your hinge to it. It's really easy, and if you use those guidelines, you won't have any problems whatsoever, and the hinge will work. The other important thing is to remember that the actual hinge go up. If you put the hinge the wrong way, you're not going to be able to close your display case. So that's the best way to use this. It's a trick that all handymen that are pros use. So now you have that same trick. Now, once you've done that and you've attached it, it's going to be time for you to attach the boxes. Because as soon as you made that first half of your box, you did exactly the same thing over again so you could make the second half of your box. Take your time, you make one half and put it aside, then pick up and do exactly the same thing to make the second half. It's about duplicating your efforts and it's about repetition. So you make one side, you do the other exactly the same. You make the other side, you do the other exactly the same. And then when you're done, do the whole thing over again and you'll have two halves for your box. And when you have the two halves put together for your box, all you need to do is line them up carefully. And what you need to do is line them up very carefully, just like that, so you put the halves together. Again, you're going to find that there's a natural and manufactured guide for you to put these together so you'll have no problem. You use that same guide we talked about a second ago and you put it right on there like that. You line it up just like you did the first time. You put pilot holes in just like you did the first time. And then you tack it down. And when you tack it down and when you finish, now, there's six screw holes. I would put at least five screws in. I've only put a couple in because I want to show you how to get this done. And I don't want you to have to take two hours to see me teaching you. So now that you've put that hinge on, you've got most of your display. What's missing is a little bit of hardware. And when you put the hardware on, you do it exactly the same way that you've been doing it. Place it where it's going to work and where it's going to fit. Drill a pilot hole for yourself because if you do that, you'll have no problems getting the screws where they're supposed to go. If you don't do that, the screws may not go where they're supposed to go. You may split your wood. You'll have all kinds of issues and then your $20 investment may actually grow because you'll have to go buy stuff again because you broke it the first time or it didn't work or you get frustrated, all of which I can assure you has happened to me. Attach your handle. You're going to be good to go. The last thing to do is the latch. And you do that exactly the same way as you did the handle. This is 24 inches. So measure about 12 inches. Put one half. Just put it right on here, just like this. Pick up your latch and put it on there. You make a dots where you need to put the screws. You drill a pilot hole and you put that latch on there, just like that. What's going to happen after about 20 minutes in real time, 25 minutes if you like to redo everything, is you're going to end up, when you're finished, with a traveling, transportable, paparazzi, inventory, 
carrying showcase. And when you're done, you'll be able to close it up, pick it up, and put it back in your car. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions or if you need a parts list, just let us know. Send us an email here at Team Vegas Bling. We'll be more than happy to get that to you. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know if this was helpful so we can do some more for you. Thank you very much. Bling on.